If you're searching for an easy scheme to earn huge amounts of money online, I'm afraid I have to disappoint you. There are dozens of proven ways to make money online with no experience, but they all involve sacrifice, dedication, and hard work. Once you put in this time and pay your dues, you will be able to achieve the financial freedom you aspire to now. So, to sum it up, this is not going to be another get-rich-quick guide. We do not live in fantasy land, and if getting rich was easy, everyone would be rich. The old adage, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is, can be applied here as well. By putting in the time today, you will place yourself in the best position to thrive in upcoming years. How to make money online as a beginner without experience first off. Here is what you need to avoid if people offer to send you links to their products and services and they're locked behind a paywall, they are usually up to no good. In fact, this is just a cheap and dishonest way to make money without offering true value. Plenty of people get caught in this web of lies out of the desire to earn money right here, right now. Like I said before, there isn't a fast lane to getting rich. Run, if anyone promises you $2,000 free money or that you'll make over $4,000 fast, in a few days. Sometimes these scams throw up instant red flags like poor grammar and typos. If they were rich, they could hire a marketing writer, proofreader, right? Sure. You could test your luck and try one of those scams that promise thousands of dollars of profit in just a couple of days, but that is a quick one-way ticket to losing all of your savings. Have you ever thought about online surveys? Okay, words such as money and easy should never be used in the same sentence together, but no matter what anyone says, Surveys remain the safest and the best way to make money online as a broke beginner. They require no investments up front. You will only have to use up some of your free time. Why would anyone pay you to do a simple survey? Well, major brands care deeply about their users' behavior and their desires, and conducting surveys is the best way to find out what the masses think about their products. The process of registration is fairly simple, as it takes no more than a couple of minutes to create your account. You will just need to provide some basic information about yourself, such as your age, gender, and other demographic-related questions. In this way, you will receive the surveys that are created precisely for your targeted group. There are several places where you can start, but the most popular players in the game include Survey Junkie, Swagbucks, Opinion Outpost, and My Points. As you complete the surveys, the money will come to you, whether through PayPal or gift cards like from Amazon. If you're truly interested in this line of work, you will be able to rack up some decent pocket money with it, but I would still advise you to take surveys as your secondary side hustle. You can make money, but it's unlikely to be a lot of money or enough to live on. If you're lucky you'll make $30 a day online, but not every day. I am only saying this because there are some other, really cool ways in which you can monetize your online presence. Related. Eight survey sites that actually pay blogging is the way of the future. Make $50 an hour online or more. Although blogging has been around for years now, it still remains a viable source of income for people around the world. Still, this is no promised land. Just because you can now create a blog in just a couple of days, it doesn't mean that the money will start rolling in just as quickly. If I can be honest here for a second, I was a bit of an exception to this rule. 
You see, only three months after my blog was made, I made $500 from it, but I had plenty of traffic right from the get-go. To start off, you first need to find a reliable hosting provider. My first choice was the HostGator, thanks to their tremendous offer, which only cost me $2.75 a month. I stayed with them for quite some time, but as the traffic figures started to go up, I figured I needed something more, so I transferred my website to SiteGround, where it still remains today. If you provide great content to your readers, major brands will quickly start to notice you, and that is where partnerships begin to come into play. In the internet world, these things are known as affiliate programs, and they present a tremendous way to earn a profit that is entirely passive. Here is an example of one affiliate program from our blog. All you have to do is point your readers in the direction of your partner companies, and if they decide to use their services for themselves, you will get a piece of the cut. Isn't that the easiest way to earn money ever? Become a freelancer we are all well aware that the major corporations are taking all of the profits from their miserably paid employees, but we rarely muster up the courage to do something about it. Still, more and more people are now turning to freelance as a source of steady income. In truth, this can be a masterful way to earn the big bucks, but you have to possess a skill that separates you from the crowd. Still, even if you are the biggest expert in the world, there is still a difficult path that you need to endure before you can start to increase your hourly fees. Getting a reputation on freelancing websites can be a grueling task, but it is the foundation for everything that comes after that. The trouble is, most people are happy to undercut themselves and charge way less for their services than what they deserve. Fighting for what's yours is a daily task for most freelancers, but hey, it comes with the territory. Don't get me wrong, it's not all bad. Successful freelancers are capable of earning tens of thousands of dollars each month. Gaining the reputation to enter that circle is the difficult part. When it comes to your freelancing platform of choice, you can start off on websites such as Upwork and Fiverr. While Upwork was the biggest player in some previous years, due to their constant increases in fees and fluctuation of job opportunities, other competitors have risen in popularity. During the very next week, I made $200 from it, without investing any effort into it. To this day, it remains some of the sweetest profit I ever made. A great alternative to the two already mentioned websites is FlexJobs. In order to create an account on this website, you have to pay a certain monthly fee, but that is a sure indication that other freelancers who are already there won't drive the hourly rates down, as they do on some other websites. If you are confident in the quality of your work, you should definitely check it out. So, if you're a beginner hoping to earn money by freelancing, invest in yourself first, by gaining the necessary expertise in your niche. Once you have that in your pocket, turning it into profit becomes the easy part. Sell some of the stuff you have no use for we can all be prone to hoarding stuff we barely ever get a chance to use. Now, I am not suggesting that you need to change your life from the ground up and become a minimalist, but I have no doubt that you turn a decent profit by getting rid of some things. However, once you sell all of the items from your home, what is there to do next? I have a lot of experience in selling stuff online, and trust me, this can definitely become a viable source of income. I began while still in college, by flipping some items on eBay. However, you won't be able to sell just anything you wish. Honoring the demands of the market is the number one rule of business. 
So, if you are a beginner who is hoping to turn this into a career, my first advice would be to learn how to test the market and find out what people truly wish to buy. You'll also need to have some liquid savings you'll be able to invest in buying products. The most reliable way to get your foot in the door is by opening your own store on Amazon. Still, how can you determine the market demands? That is when Jungle Scout comes into play. By using this tool, not only that you'll be able to track down the products that sell, but you'll also see where the competition is poor and where the chance is there for the taking. Once you've found a valuable product, the rest becomes very easy. Invest your money in a smart way in case you're used to paying for everything in cash. You definitely know the feeling of tons of loose change clanging in your pockets. To avoid this, most people don't even bother with taking this money, but that can be a huge mistake. For instance, there are now several apps, such as Acorns, which collect the change from the purchases you make by using credit or debit cards and invest those funds into different venues. Young people simply adore this app, as they can barely even notice the difference in their credit balance. The fees are also insignificant, but the profit you can make is quite alluring. Thanks for watching. Credits to dollarsanity.com. Please hit like button and subscribe my channel for more online earning ideas.